In this video, I'm going to show you how to switch to Photoshop keyboard shortcuts in GIMP. After using Photoshop for so many years, I really didn't feel comfortable in GIMP at first. And I think a big part of this was the keyboard shortcuts. Over and over again, for many years, I'd use these same keyboard shortcuts in Photoshop to zoom in and zoom out of my photos. If I wanted to switch to different tools in the toolbox, I wouldn't push on uh, the icon. I'd actually use a keyboard shortcut to switch to them. Um, if I wanted to, say, duplicate a layer, um, instead of right-clicking on it and trying to duplicate it, um, I'd actually just use a keyboard shortcut. And after doing those same keyboard shortcuts over and over again, it just became habit. I didn't even look at the keys I was pressing. So to go from that to GIMP, which was totally new to me, um, it just it really slowed me down and it was really discouraging. So when I found out that somebody had made it really easy to uh, switch your keyboard shortcuts, I jumped at the chance. Now you could, if you just wanted to tweak some of your keyboard shortcuts or do it manually, you could go up to the main menu and click on Edit, go down to Keyboard Shortcuts, and here you can make all the changes. If you want to change your tools, what launches them, and so on, you can do it here. And I could come in and individually change each one but of course that would take a really long time. And somebody's done the work for us, which is great. So I'm gonna close that, and I'm gonna close GIMP itself. In the description of this video, there's a link to a freeshell.org website. And this is where someone who's been really nice, and they've went ahead, and they've made all these changes for us. Now, the programs aren't the exact same, Photoshop and GIMP, so it's not the exact same as Photoshop keyboard shortcuts, but it's very close and it's very helpful. So if you just look up at the top, there's a, a file to download a ps-menurc, so you'd want to download that file. And when you have, uh, just go to the location where you downloaded it. I've saved it into a temporary folder here. I'm going to rename this file. And I'm going to remove the ps dash at the beginning and just call it menurc. Now you want to navigate to your GIMP folder. If you're in Windows, this is going to be different, uh, but for Linux users, it's in your home folder, but it's hidden. So I've already shown hidden files here. Um, I would do it up here, show hidden files. It could be control H. It'll be a little different depending on which uh, operating system you're using. But once your hidden files are shown, go to the GIMP folder, scroll down until you same, see a file with that same name, menu RC. And just to be safe, I'm gonna back this one up. I'm gonna rename it. And I'm gonna call it menu RC dash backup, press enter. And now we can take the file that we downloaded. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it in here with Control V. So now when we launch GIMP, it's going to have changed all those default GIMP keyboard shortcuts to ones that I'm far more familiar with. So if I open up that image I just had open, now I can zoom in and out with uh, plus and minus holding down control. I can do control zero to uh, fit the screen, control alt zero to zoom one to one. Um, just that alone makes it so much easier for me to use. Um, if I wanted to change to um, say the brush tool, well actually in GIMP this is called the paintbrush tool, so it would normally be P, but I'm used to Photoshop and I'm used to B for brush so I use that. Um, I could increase and decrease my brush size with bracket keys. Um, I could duplicate the layer over here with control J instead of right clicking on it. All these little things just make it so much easier for me and really help me with that transition from Photoshop to GIMP. So if you're like me and you're more comfortable with Photoshop keyboard shortcuts, uh, this is a really great, easy and fast way to make that change. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel and click the like button below. If you'd like to learn more, please consider purchasing the open source photography course available at rileybrandt.com lessons. More information about the course and links to all my social media sites can be found in the description below.